Hey LemoBeat students, in today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to send emails from your code. Yeah, you heard that right, emails from your code. Now we're going to be using a service called Mailgun, a gun that shoots mails. I'm just kidding. So we're going to use Mailgun that helps us to send mails from our code. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to be using Java, of course, because, you know, Java is cool. But whichever language you want to use, you can follow along. As you can see from the website, if you want to test it using call on your system, you can. But if you want to use languages such as Ruby, Python, PHP, Java, C Sharp. You know, basically C Sharp is like Java, so those two are brothers. But you have Ruby, Python, PHP. You can do it from all those also. Now, you have up to 1,000 free emails each month. You have, let's look at the pricing. Like I always tell you, when I see a good product, I like to check the pricing. So, you have a free plan and in the free plan you have up to 1000 emails no 10,000 10,000 that's a lot 10,000 emails per month and 100 email validations now if you want more than that then you begin to pay as you can see even at this level 75,000 emails and 5,000 validations, you just pay $81 per month. So I think that is quite nice. So you even have JavaScript, as you can see, Node.js for the Node.js guys, you know now. So how do we send an email? So this is, this is how we do it when you go to the documentation you would see a lot of text and we'll go straight to the points so that we don't get all confused and stuff we're going to be sending our email via the api you have sent email via smtp and so on now when you create your account you have a dashboard so here is my dashboard and I have a domain name a default domain name given to me so you can also have your domain name and verify it currently I haven't done that so but that isn't going to affect anything now, if you want to use this custom domain to send emails to particular people, you have to authorize the email. You will see authorize recipients. So currently, I invited a new email that I am going to be sending a message to. So just for this example, I'm going to be using the sandbox domain. But once you come in here, it's pretty straightforward. You can have your own custom domain and upgrade to a higher plan. So the first thing we need is the library. So you have the Mailgun Java library. I'll put all these links below so that you can check it out. So you have the Mailgun Java library and what we need is the dependency which is this forget about all this text blah 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 we just need this dependency so I go to my project this is just an empty Java project you know if you want to create a new project create a new project but I created a Java Gradle project because I'm going to be using Gradle as the dependency manager so you can click here java next and 
what I am doing now is showing you how to create a new project from Grado. So group ID is just a unique um, identifier to you. Nothing serious here. You can use your name. That is, let's say your name is John. Let's say John.com. And artifact ID can be seen as the name of the project itself. I can call it mail gone. You know, I say next and you can click on auto import. Then you can say next and finish. So I don't need to do this. I'll cancel at this point. So over here, I come to my dependency and paste the dependency I copied from here. Let's go to the example, how to send email. Now this is the example that they put. So I can just come here, copy this method and paste it here. Oh no, you can see a lot of red lines here. Okay, let's see what happened. Unirest. Now, Unirest is a Java HTTP client. So, we need to get the dependency for Unirest. It helps you make HTTP requests easily without all the boilerplate code and jargon. So, let's go to Unirest. So, here it is Unirest for Java lightweight HTTP request client libraries. So let's get the dependency. I can easily copy this even though it is not in the Gradu dependency format. This is the Gradu format and this is Marvin. But even if I copy Marvin and paste it in my Gradu, it will turn it into Gradu format. Ain't that cool? Yeah. So now I have Unirest and Milgon. So I come over here and I import. Import. Who else again? Uh, import. Import. So what, by the time we look at everything, the only thing remaining is my domain name and API key. So let's go to the website. So I go back to my dashboard. So in my dashboard, look at the domain name that's active right here, right here, right now. I can copy it. Go back to my code. Uh, let's create a variable. domain name I'll, I'll call it this so your domain name is this so yeah this variable now represents the domain name and this domain name was gotten from here the next thing is my api key now my api key is a secret key so what I can do, I'll call this API key or oh, API key and I'll call it public static. So you guys are not allowed to see my API key. So I'm going to hide that from you. So my API key is a string and it's in a class called API K. So I'm getting it from there so that I don't have to put it here before somebody uses it. <laughs> so right now, domain name is set, API key is set. Now, I'll say this email will be from, uh, let's say, Lemobit students at lemobits.com yeah this can be anyone right 
but the person we are sending the email to has to be valid and when we go back to my dashboard the authorized recipient is limocco at gmail.com so that's the only person we can send email to so let's imagine that i want to send to someone that doesn't exist let's say nimuel cco at gmail.com.com now this is the wrong email i did it on purpose so you can see the response so by the time we come over here this is our send simple message method so over here we'll come and say send simple message of course they want us to surround it with try catch but send simple message returns the body of the response so and let's skip that json node json node is equal to so we'll print out json node dot to string so currently let's try to send this email to a wrong unauthorized email so we run it now look at it sandbox subdomains are for test purposes only please add your own domain or add the addresses to authorize or add the address to authorized recipients in the account settings so it's either you verify your own domain or you add only authorized recipients of course the authorized recipient here is limocco at gmail.com which is an actual email so by the time we come over here remove this so let's make hello from Lemobit students testing Lemobit students make this all right so let's send this let's send it let's send it let's send it let's send it All right, so this is the message. The message is queued. Thank you. So the message should have gone. The message should have been sent. So let's check my email. Hey, so I came over here and I saw hello from Lemobit students. From Lemobit students at lemobit.com via sandbox blah 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 and the body is testing lembit students when we go back we can see of course the text was testing lembit students and the subject of course was hello from lembit students so that works so i will put this code on github so that you can go and download of course you won't see my api key when i put it there <laughs> but you'll be able to have the structure and the dependencies so that all you have to do is to get your api key and your domain name of course initially you would just have a default sandbox domain so that's not an issue it will still work so do that and take note that you can do this in other languages ruby python php java of course our baby c sharp go node.js and you can test it of course from call on your system if you have call installed if you have call installed if you have call installed so thank you if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to support and you know get more videos like this 
consider to subscribe because more awesome videos are coming your way. Hey, wait, don't go yet. So, Mailgun and their awesome team polished the UI of the website. So, it is possible that when you go to the website, it might not look like how you saw or what you saw in the tutorial. It might look like what you're seeing right now. Of course, it's a lot better than what we dealt with in the tutorial. And I must say, well done to the mail gun team. So just like you saw, as I demonstrated some minutes ago, you can also get your API key and everything here. Just that, you know, it's a different UI setting, but they are all still in the same account. So let's say I want to access my API key. I go to setting, go to API security, and you see your private API key, which you can get. Of course, you can view it. Your dashboard gives you some information of what's going on. And you can see a lot of things. Here you can see your domains. This was the domain I used, if you remember. And this is the verified email for the domain, the recipient. As you can see, this is quite smooth. You can just select API, select Java, and they show you how to send your request using the API. You can use Go, you can use Ruby. I think this way, I think this UI is quite pleasant. So in case you see this, don't get confused or scared, you know. It's still the same thing. If you look here in the free accounts, I've used just two out of 10,000. So I still have a lot of emails to send. So like I told you, the free plan is very awesome. If you want more, you can upgrade and you really enjoy the service. So this time, really goodbye. Subscribe and give it a thumbs up.